pray some prayers first. That whoever has been enchanting to block your name shall encounter the wrath of God. Whoever has been fasting against your destiny, and I've used the word fasting. Some people here, you are a victim of demonic fastings. People, someone fasted and fasted that your marriage may be scattered, that your business may be scattered, that your life may be darkened. But I say this today before we pray that tonight whoever is doing that whoever has done that whoever has ever done that let them encounter the wrath of the God of Israel. Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, I said, let them see when they summon your name, the wrath of God will respond. Any evil programmed on your name, let God be God. Anyone that is programming evil to take your place, Zakata, let God be God against the slanderer. Whoever slanders your name, let God be God. Whoever blocked your appointment, let God be God. Whoever blocks your star, let God be God. Whoever Delays your life. Let God be God. In the assembly of the witches that are planning your downfall. In the assembly of those planning your downfall, let God be God. Let God be God. Sarate Rataya. I say, let God, the God who called you, the God who chose you, the God who anointed you, but the one that is rising to bring accusation against your soul. The Bible says, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. The Lord. Rebuke your accuser. Amen. Amen. Against my accuser. Let God be God against the power that imprisoned souls in my bloodline. Let God be God. Say, let God be God against the assembly of my enemies, against the assembly of my adversaries. And every time that cast my soul, let it dry. You are a gentleman, but me, I'm tired. Every time that cast my soul be dry now, let God be God. Do not despise. The power of the tongue. Amen. Do not despise the power of the tongue. The Bible calls it a fire. A fire. Now listen. All spiritual transactions need the power of the tongue to execute them. Did you hear me? Anything to be done in the spirit on the realm 
of, on earth it's the tongue that activated you know there are different powers there's the power of the grave but there's the power of the tongue mm? the tongue is a power the spiritual power Amen. Some people have a laser tongue like a laser blade. Many of you what broke your heart came from a tongue. Hmm? What scattered your marriage came from a tongue. What Cause people to hate you came from the tongue. I might talk to somebody. What caused people to suck you from work was from a tongue. And people have learned how to empower evil on their tongues. Hmm? Barak hired Baram to do what? To curse. To do what? Baram, Barak knew he could not fight Israel without a weapon of the tongue. I know life and death uh -huh. is in the power of the tongue. Life and death. The Bible says the tongue is the word of iniquity. You have not yet fought against the tongue that rise to judge you. The Bible says, you shall refute every tongue. No weapon that is fashioned against you shall succeed. And you shall refute every tongue that rises against you in judgment. You didn't know that what you are dealing with it's an evil tongue. What is scattering your ministry it is the covenant of tongues. They have and for God to use you he also brings the tongues of fire on you. And gives you a language. Gives you a language. And gives you a fruit of the tongue. Not in your language. Not in your language but in another tongue. You know, let me tell you something. Many of you are wondering why I pray so much in tongues. Hmm? Now listen. I am lucky that uh, I have been in both worlds. <laughs> I know that's what gives me advantage. I knew so much the world of darkness. And I have known the world of God. There are things I saw in the world when I was in darkness 
that caused me to ask some questions. And maybe they were convincing me that something is not something is going on. Take an example. When the agents of darkness have formed an army and are advancing against a believer and suddenly that believer turns into praying in tongues you could see the, the holding spirit that holds the witch melt like wax wax when they melt that wax sticks on the body of the witch and sometimes it kills them do you know how many witches die every day when believers bring tongues you don't know every day thousands of those that subscribe to Satan die suddenly because in their operation they have what they call a holding demon now when you speak tongues because your Uganda your Swahili your English has demonic words satanic utterances though you call it your language but most of the words are demonically fashioned and in, in your mother tongue words you speak in English some of them have hidden spiritual meanings you don't know some of them are names of demons or are names of covenants or are enchantments now when you use them in your prayer your prayer is powerful but can be trapped Mm? but when you switch to a pure spiritual tongue that dismantles the glue that sticks the holding demon to your enemy mm? that's why the agents of Satan who have become pastors and bishops and Bible teachers they discourage you to pray in tongues if you are begin praying in Luganda no one will attack me but the moment I pray in tongues they begin to say why don't you pray in a language you understand because they want to hear your petition and challenge it they want to hear what you are asking and stage to steal it from you that's why they want you to pray in the language they know that they know what are you praying for oh, what if you are attacking them so the moment you switch to the language of angels then they say speak and we understand and tell them the one I'm praying to understands the one I'm not praying to you I'm praying to the one who understands I don't care because I don't want you to understand what I'm praying I'm not preaching I'm praying
It's not a sermon. It's a transaction. It's a secret. I'm praying secrets. I'm praying mysteries. I might talk to somebody. I'm praying a language not of this world. We shall have one night prayer here. 12 hours of praying tongues only. And you see what will happen. You see what will happen in this city. Amen. Amen. You try one of these days. Get into your car around midnight or 3 a.m. Drive through the city praying tongues and see what will happen. You will change the city by that transaction I'm teaching you a mystery what happens in the spirit when you pray tongues for a period of time let me tell you this try take nine days wake up at 3am pray in tongues for only 70 minutes for nine days and see what will happen to your soul to your business to your spiritual life and to your enemies take nine days wake up at 3am pray in tongues if for 70 minutes go back to sleep tell me the people that will call you tell me the news you will hear they may call you for a funeral yeah. it's dangerous okay do you have a, a, a sister, a brother, a daughter, a son that Satan has oppressed? You know that there is a someone who has stubbornly kept attacking you and doing whatever he can to destroy your life? Is there, you know, someone who has vowed that they will never rest until you are destroyed? Eh? Eh? Some Wake up at 3 a.m. Hmm? Don't mention any name. Your spirit knows what you mean. Pray in tongues for 70 minutes. Go and sleep. Amen. Amen. That cycle of nine days, what it will do, it will put an order in the spirit that the utterances and decrees against your destiny cannot be allowed to perform. Listen. Those in the kingdom of darkness if a man keep talking without stopping and surpass the one hour mark that's why I'm giving you 70 minutes they have taken over a certain realm every time you do the same thing and pass the one hour mark and you've been doing the same thing you have taken over a, a realm, a space in the spirit. You know here we teach mysteries. And we raise generals. No. But here. Battlefield. Genos. Battle what? Field. The one who has and I said, 